since 1956. You're standing on fertile ground right now. Gibson Grocery has been a staple in West Dallas. Gibson Grocery is considered to be the oldest black owned convenient grocery store. Philip Gibson is second generation owner. We endured uh, a lot during, the, during that time period, obviously. See, Gibson Grocery is located in what's considered a food desert, where food resources are slim. His store offers low prices to help lower income families, but with about 45,000 dock workers on strike. It's going to escalate the prices of food. We're praying and hoping that it don't. It's the same hope Brandon Brandon has. He owns Special Edition, a custom car shop in Deep Ellum. A lot of my orders, a lot of my bills, a lot of my projects do come from product overseas. But he sympathizes with the Port Workers Union International Longshoresmen Association, who are striking for higher wages and a ban on automation. If you take those jobs away from people, how are they going to feed their families? You know, so I understand exactly where they're coming from, and it's like, we're going to get to you before you get to us. SMU professor Shri Kumar Bhaskaran says the 36 ports on strike are on the east and Gulf Coast, which mostly gets supplies like food and car parts from Europe. You're going to see some higher prices because there's shortage of supply, loss in pay, loss in employment. He says the other challenge. Even if it is just a short time, it's not easy for us to very quickly kind of go back to the normal way of doing things. Because of backlogs, still, Baskaran says there's no need to panic. Firms and companies, they have seen what has happened over the last several years and now they're better prepared to handle some of these disruptions. Because after all, hey, everybody has to eat. And Philip hopes to continue meeting that need through legacy. In Dallas, I'm Brittany Moncrease.